It's time to say hello. It's time to say hello. Let's sit in a circle cause it's time to say hello. Good morning friends. It's circle time with Miss Sabrina and today we have a story time. Our story is called Goldilocks and the Three Bears. All right, let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks and she had golden curls in her hair. Well, one day she decided to go for a walk outside into the forest. And when she was walking, she took a left turn and she kept walking down the path until what did she see? But this beautiful log cabin. It was so cute and adorable. She just couldn't help herself. She wanted to see what was inside. She did not knock on the door. She just opened the door and went right inside. Well, guess what she saw? Goldilocks saw a table and she saw a kitchen. On that table, she saw three bowls of porridge and she was hungry from all that walking. So she decided to sit down and try the first bowl of porridge. She took a spoonful and put it in her mouth and ate it. Ah, too hot, she said. So she decided to go to the second bowl. She took a spoonful, put it in her mouth and ooh, too cold, she said. So then she went to the third bowl of porridge and she put a spoonful in her mouth and ate it. Oh, it was just right. So she ate the whole bowl of porridge and it was all done. After the bowl of porridge, she decided she wanted to look around the house, see what she could see. It was so nice and beautiful in there. So she walked into the living room and she saw three chairs. She thought, well, I might as well get comfortable. So she sat in the first chair and it was a very big chair. And she said, you know what? This is too big. So she decided to go to another chair. When she went in that chair, it was so small. She was moving around and she broke it. Oh dear. Then she went to the last chair and oh, it was just right. Not too big and not too small. She was so happy in the living room, looking around at all the different things like books, and pictures, and different things that were in the living room. She started to get a little sleepy. So she wanted to look for a bed to sleep in. She walked down the hallway and opened the door and she saw three beds. She said, oh goody, I get to go to sleep. So she went in the first bed. Oh, it was so hard, too hard. So she went into the second bed. Whoop, she sunk right in. It was so soft, too soft for her to go to sleep. So she went into the third bed. Oh, it was just right. Not too hard and not too soft. Goldilocks, Goldilocks took a nap. Well, as Goldilocks took a nap, the th there was three bears that lived in that house. A papa bear, a mama bear, and a baby bear. And they went out for a walk. So Papa Bear came home and said, oh, the door is cracked open. Someone must be in the house. So Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear, they went into the house and what did they see? Their bowls of porridge were all messed up. Papa Bear said, someone's been eating my porridge. And Baby Bear said, Someone's been eating my porridge. And Mama Bear said, my porridge is all gone. Oh dear. Well, they thought maybe the person is still in the house. Let's take a look around. So they walked into the living room 
What did they see? Papa Bear said. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Baby Bear said. Someone broke my chair. Oh, and Mama Bear said. Someone's been sitting in my chair as well. Oh, they were so upset. Who would do such a thing? Then they thought, could the person still be in the house? So they decided to walk into the bedroom. They opened the door. What did Papa Bear see? Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Baby Bear said, someone's been sleeping in my bed. And Mama Bear said, someone's in my bed. Ah! And she screamed. And when she screamed, screamed, Goldilocks woke up. Ah! She was so scared to see three bears looking at her. She jumped out of bed, ran out the door, ran past the living room, ran past the kitchen, and ran out the front door all the way home. Phew! She was safe. But Goldilocks thought to herself later, Hmm, I don't think that was a good idea. I went in someone's house, I ate their porridge, I broke their chair, I slept in their bed. Those bears could have eaten me up or they could have been really angry at me. So maybe I shouldn't do that next time. Maybe next time I should knock on the door and ask if I can come in. And then if I come in, I can ask to have a bowl of porridge or have a bowl of porridge with them. And then, you know, sit down with them if they invite me. She thought, that wasn't a wise thing to do and I probably really upset the bears. So Goldilocks decided from that day on that she will not go inside people's houses without knocking. The end. Thank you so much for hanging out today with me, friends. I hope you enjoyed the story time of Goldilocks and the three bears. I'll see you next time. Bye.